Happy New Year's everybody! I'm going to show you guys today how to cut out this t-shirt with a slanted bottom and I added some cutouts along the bottom all the way around the t-shirt to kind of look like lace. I tried to kind of do a delicate kind of pattern and on the shoulder I did an accent with rectangular cutouts all the way around on one side of the shoulder to kind of accent this off the shoulder so it's like goes with the slanted bottom here. This is a size medium t-shirt. It's 100% cotton. It's a Gildan Ultra Cotton t-shirt. And do any of you guys know He-Man, the TV show? This is kind of like playing off of that TV show. It's Masters of the Universe and on the back it says, I have the power. So I thought it would be really funny to kind of um, contrast this really manly, muscular character with some really delicate lace detailing all at the bottom. Um, and this is a really good cutout t-shirt design to do on any t-shirt where you guys have printing on the front and the back that you don't want to cut up. So I couldn't really do much with the neckline, so that's why I opted to just do it along the bottom here. While wearing the t-shirt, you're going to want to decide how high up you want one side of the slant to go. So I chose to do right underneath my hip bone, um, and I've marked it with a small safety pin here. So when I take off the t-shirt, I'm going to know to start cutting from this to the very bottom. So the first thing I did was just cut off the bottom hem of the t-shirt and then uh, I made a straight line from the spot we just marked down to the bottom corner of the t-shirt using a ruler to keep the line straight. The next step is to section the bottom of your t-shirt into four equal parts. So I did this by folding the t-shirt in half and sticking a bobby pin right at the crease. So when I open it back up, um, I have a spot in the middle and then I did the same thing to each side. Fold this in half and put a bobby pin right in that spot. And so now I have my four equal sections and I can start um, making my cuts. So I'm gonna, I actually bobby pin the back and the front um, at the same time. This way I can keep everything secure in the right spot while I cut both layers, the front and the back at the same time. So that just saves me time. Now you can start cutting out a design all the way around the t-shirt. You can keep it simple or make it complex. I decided to start off with cutting slits in the shape of a triangle as the base of my design. I did 5 cuts half an inch apart from each other and made sure I didn't cut too close to the triangle next to it. I started by folding the t-shirt so I could make a small snip with my scissors and then I would cut from the middle of the triangle to the left side and then I would turn the t-shirt all the way around so I can cut from the middle to the right side of the triangle. After I finished those, I want to add details in between, so I cut a small diamond in between each triangle and then I added three small circles on top of the diamond. After that, I added two long oval shapes to both sides of the top circle. I finished it off with adding a small triangle at the top of the original triangles that I made to kind of finish off that triangle shape. Cutting out all the shapes takes patience. Cutting out all of these took me about 20 minutes. I'm cutting the front and the back fabric at the same time to save time. So I'm only cutting out the pattern four times instead of four on the front and four on the back. But if you want to be more careful and more precise, you could totally just cut out one section at a time and just take your time with it. Here I just have a clip of a close-up of me cutting out the, the, the design in between each triangle so you guys can see the details and the diamond, the three circles, and the two oval shapes in the triangle at the top of each triangle. Just to give you guys a better idea on what I'm doing here. Don't forget that once you're done cutting out the four designs on the front and the back, you'll need to take out the safety pins and open up the t-shirt so you can cut two additional sections on both sides of the t-shirt where the fold was. You just need to do the part that is in between the main triangles two additional times on either side of your waist. Once I finished the lace detailing, I cut off both sleeves of the t-shirt along the hem for a tank top look. So next, I'm starting to cut out the rectangular accents on the sleeve. I'm cutting out the rectangles that are half an inch by 1.5 inches big all the way around the sleeves and I'm cutting out the top and the bottom fabric at the same time to save time again. I'm cutting into both layers of the fabric. Just be careful that you leave enough space in between the rectangles so they don't become too thin after you stretch out the fabric. And I'm only doing one side of the t-shirt because I figured it'd be a little too busy or a little too much detailing if I cut both sides of the sleeves. So I only cut the right side. 
Instead, I cut off the neckline and created an off-the-shoulder kind of look to accent the sleeve on one side. So here's the final look of the t-shirt. And if you guys do your own interpretation of the lace at the bottom, so if you do different shapes or whatever you guys come up with, I would love to see those photos. Make sure to take photos and share it on my Facebook fan page. It's facebook.com slash cutuptees. And I would love to share your creation with everybody else and inspire other people to uh, think of new ideas of how they can customize this to their own style. <laughs> And also I want to mention, in case you guys didn't know, um, if you haven't watched all my videos, I do have a proper uh, playlist on YouTube of all my official cut up t-shirt tutorials. So if you haven't seen them all, you can go there and check because sometimes it's hard, you know, going through YouTube, it gets mixed in with other videos or whatever. It's hard to know what videos you've seen or haven't seen. So link to that playlist in the is in the description box below so you can check it out. You can bookmark it. Every time I do a new video, I'll add that video to the playlist so they're always in one place. And so one of my New Year's resolution is to be able to spread creativity and encourage more people to try cutting out t-shirts. And that's why I created the Facebook and Twitter account for Cut Up Tees, um, is to be able to encourage that uh, participation. So that's why I would love for you guys to share your photos and encourage other people and create this kind of community of people there who all love cut up t-shirts. And the second uh, New Year's resolution of mine is to be able to make cut up t-shirts more accessible to everybody because sometimes people feel like they don't have the creativity or the skills or the time even to make their own cut up t-shirts which is why I really really want to start selling my own cut up t-shirts from a lot of encouragement from you guys actually um, has prompted me to look into this kind of project and, and look into if it's possible for me to start selling cut up t-shirts so I'd love to know from you guys would you be interested in buying cut up t-shirts is that something I should do for the new year? So please let me know in the comments below um, your thoughts on that and what your new year resolutions are for yourself. So I'd love to hear that as well. So thanks for watching everybody. Have a good new year and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be making weekly videos and watch out for more cut up t-shirt tutorials of the new year. So I can't wait. Thanks guys. Bye.